Hello everybody, Montana isn't exactly known as a hotbed of martial arts, but a Livingston trio may be changing that on their way possibly to the sport's highest level. MTN's Nick Petruccioni introduces us to the Singleton sisters. Most people are like, oh, yeah, they're girls, and we're like, girls are strong too, people. You won't find many stronger than the Singleton sisters. In this basement dojo in Livingston, Charlotte, who's 10, Sophia, 13, and Vivian, 15, all train at their favorite sport, karate. Both Charlotte and Sophia won national championships in kumite, the fighting form of karate, while Vivian medaled with her third place finish in her age bracket. But their goals go well beyond national titles. They want to make the U.S. Olympic karate team. A goal not so crazy for three of the country's top prospects of their age group. I'm just a girl from Montana who hasn't exactly done anything big or gone anywhere. But when I go to the Olympics, then I'll just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm the girl from Montana who's going to maybe win. Sophia only had one point scored on her the entire national tournament. And she's already a front runner to make the junior really? U.S. national team. The crazy part? The Singletons have only taken karate for two years, and for the past year, have been self-taught. Okay, now we're going to do ABJ. Training with her sisters, Charlotte, who the family calls Lottie Karate, was 57-2 and two this past year, winning 15 tournaments. And that caught the eye of Sports Illustrated for Kids magazine, who named her one of November's Sports Kids of the Month. She's the first karate athlete to ever receive the honor in the magazine's history. My dad was looking at them, and then he ran over and he was like, look what, who's in the magazine? And I looked, and I started freaking out. Her positive attitude has also earned her a following. At just 10, Lottie Karate has more than 2,000 followers on Instagram. She receives messages daily from those followers about how she inspires them in karate. When they reach out to me like that, I feel to push better in karate. They inspire me as well to do further. And then there's Vivian. Karate has changed her life. Vivian has epilepsy. Before starting karate, she would have 50 to 60 seizures a day. But now, Vivian doesn't have any. I trained really hard in karate, then one day my mom noticed, I haven't seen you do an episode at all this week. And so as I watched, I started stopping, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a miracle, karate just changed me completely. Karate turned her life around, but she's not done. Vivian wants to make the U.S. national team with her sisters, and then teach the sport. I love karate so much. I'm going to stick with it for the rest of my life, I'm going to own a dojo when I'm older, i got big dreams. But regardless of national championships or Olympics, karate has brought these three sisters closer together. Charlotte's super funny and witty and just awesome. Sophia's motivating, strong, and she just inspires me so much. I love being here with them, learning new drills. They push me to do better. I'm so glad that they're on this journey with me because I don't want to be alone on it. And the journey has just started for these three and they are ready to put the karate world on notice. I'm just a girl from Montana and nobody knows me yet, but I hope one day they will. In Livingston, Nick Petruccioni, MTN Sports. More and more people are learning by the day. We'll continue to follow the Singletons as far as they can go.